and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Selesnia tokens. We're going low to the ground and very wide, very fast, and going to try to put games away. So this is a very explosive version of Selesnia tokens, as you see here, only 20 lands. So we're not going with a very high land count, so that's why we don't have cards like Tristani or some of the four mana Planeswalkers that uh, see play in a deck like this, because we're trying to be as fast as possible. Not even March of the Multitudes, because um, that's, that's the kind of card they'll just get stuck in our hand and not be able to use it unless we're already winning with like a bunch of other creatures. Um, so we're, we have uh, our eight token makers with Raise the Alarm, Sapperly Migration, that are kind of the, the heart of the deck in our two drop slot. Uh, one drop slot, we just have a couple of uh, smaller creatures here. And the two heavy hitters, the two big heavy hitters, are Woodland Champion and Benelish Marshall. So you know about Benelish Marshall, given our creatures, plus one, plus one. Woodland Champion, though, um, has whenever any of our tokens enter the battlefield, you get to put counters on it. So it can be a very big creature. Also, so we have the Dauntless Bodyguards as a one drop that can protect uh, these two important cards, the Woodland Champion and the Benelish Marshall. Um, History Benali is just... You know, incredibly strong card that can also put a couple more tokens into play. And then we got our Convoke cards that really let us double spell uh, very early with Conclave Tribunal and Venerated Luxodon. So a a pretty good looking deck here. Just, you know, pretty straightforward. 20 lands, 10 spells that all are four ofs. You know, so we, we're just going to be very consistent. Um you know, try to be really explosive, and, and that's kind of it. You know, like, we're just going to try to run other decks over. Um, let's see. Sideboard-wise, we just got Baffling Ends for all the the other creature aggro decks. We got Harpooners for Mono Blue, Demystify for, um, for Nexus to slow them down. Got a couple of Gideons for our Esper matchup and a couple of Ixalan's Bindings just to kind of be a catch-all against everything. But that's it. Real straightforward. Let's see how we do here. I'm going to change Liliana. We went over to Liliana and, and lost both of our matches right away. Let's go over back Together, to a Johnny. We are unstoppable. All right, so Lesnia tokens. We're trying to kill people before mass manipulation really matters. That's that's the goal. So yeah, we don't even need Tristani for mass manipulation, I don't think. Hmm. Not an explosive opener. Four lands is more than I want. But, you know, our turn two and turn three are definitely good. The thing is, if this was a six-card hand and I kept, like, three lands and these three spells, I would be okay with it, I guess. This is, this is about the... Bottom end of hands that I would I would be willing to keep. This is about the bottom. Yeah, like this is about as bad as a hand could be for me to keep it. Like a hand that's any worse than this, we're not keeping. And honestly, maybe this shouldn't really be a keep. It's so close. Our deck doesn't have a ton of one-drops. Like, we only have eight creature one-drops in here. The good part about playing a 20 land deck is you're going to be drawing gas.
Because that's what our deck is. It's just gas. Alright, well, we're really good. Definitely good opener for them. You know, turn two Thought Erasure, turn three Oath of Kaya, turn four Double Spelling with Hero. And Removal Spell. Their deck's not getting any better than that. I still like our chances, though. The fact they didn't just chump block there does make me feel good about not having a, a wrath here. The past, present, and your prowess. I don't know why they didn't chump block, to be honest. Oh, I guess they don't know about the other tribunal. They don't know about this card. They they knew about the first tribunal. All right, so we'll have a couple of Gideons. In here. Um, oh. I cut a flower on the draw here and a Benelish Marshall thanks QQ I forgot to update the deck list command thank you You're of a tribunal. The thing I really like about Venery Luxodon still is it dodges um, it dodges Ritual of Soot if they're playing that. Good against Cry of the Carnarium. Helps our creatures out against Cry of the Carnarium. Doesn't get... Doesn't die to, like, uh, Tyrant Scorn, that kind of stuff. I think I'd rather cut a Marshal over a Venery Luxodon, I think. So drawing the the uh, shockland was honestly really nice here. So I don't I don't have to like go get forest because then we wouldn't be able to cast the Benelish Marshals with forest. Kind of looks like I should have reset arena before this league. Didn't seem like it was too bad before, but now it's starting to get choppy. Didn't do a reset after the last two leagues. Let's slow this. No, I am not making this up as I go. Nothing.
I've done the hero thing before. Hmm. Awesome, Ishtun. Glad you're enjoying the mono black deck we just played. Cool. Yeah, I was, I was definitely really excited to play we that deck and everything. And I was sad for the league that we got with it. But yeah, it was a good one. I guess this is worth it to flip Legion's Landing, I guess. So originally my, my thinking was I didn't want to put any more threats. And I guess Basilical Bell Haunt, we should hold the planes. I don't want to put another threat into play for a sweeper. But I guess to flip Legion's Landing, it's probably worth it. And Danto's gonna do a Danto things. Alright. Hey Zero. Okay, well Arena needs a reset here. Um, that's unfortunate that we just kind of found out that Arena needs a reset during, like, right after the first game, like, during the first game where I have a little bit here. But I guess if you're watching on YouTube, you can just hit the fast-forward, like, 15-second button. <laughs> so good, good first showing. Ugh, for the Selesnya token deck. Two a win against Despa. Sun Petal Grove. Why are you Sun Petal Grove? I right, got a good curve here. Let's get rid of this forest. Because we got Benelish Marshall. We want to keep all the white mana sources. This is not the 
opponent that we want to play against with a hand like this. Venerate Luxon would be a nice one. So we'll just, you know, trade a 1-1 one -one for the Lava Runner. It's a good trade for us. Use Venerate Luxodon. playing the Azorius deck. Last time we played against Mono Red, our opponent was really, really slow. You don't really expect Mono Red opponents just to not do stuff to be very slow. Uh, Zexian, they haven't announced it yet. I don't know when the next big tournament on Arena is. It hasn't been announced. Elephant. 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 Not really close to having six mana. Yes, obviously I'm playing into a Chain Whirler. Just how life is. And yeah, I'm hoping that since they have this Spitfire, they don't have Chain Whirler. So I'm hoping, I'm also hoping our opponent just makes some decisions. Mind that too much. All right, draw Benelish Marshal. <sighs> Elephant wasn't the best turn for you. 
have been better a previous turn, but can't be too mad at it. So I guess with the elephant, we're just going to attack with the four power, the three four power things. Flip the landing. I want a 2 2 lifelinker. Have a bunch of two power stuff. Ugh. they draw any kind of burn spell I die or they're just dead all right go wide so we have baffling ends we could play Do like I want baffling ends though? I don't think I want Kral Harpooner, even though I know that gets rid of Spitfire. Um, I guess that I guess that's really good against Spitfire though, isn't it? It, it gets rid of Spitfire and gives you a creature. Hmm. I guess that card is real good against Spitfire. All right, I guess we'll play it over the migration. All right, we'll just do that. We'll just take out my migration for Harpooner. Yeah, if my opponent just didn't block with the... Oh, yeah, we definitely should have lost that. If my opponent just didn't block with the Firebrand, if they just, the next turn, they just Firebrand me... And, like, if they were just firebranded me the next turn, I would have taken lethal. So I have, I have Conclave Tribunals for removal still. I don't think I want... I don't think I want Baffling and removal also. I don't think I want that much removal. So they got Viachina Pyromancer next turn. Wow. They're just not playing Pyromancer? Kind of see if, like, just want to kind of see what my opponent was going to do there. I don't think that that's a, really a, a good block for me to risk, though. Yeah. 
Yep. Do they just not have any more spells to pump the Steamkin? We draw a land, we get to flour flourish next turn too. Flourish should be game. Hmm. That's not a bad one either though. This deck's pretty sweet. So yeah, with four mana, Johnny, um, basically just don't want just don't want a four mana card in the the twenty land deck here. You know, we do have the the flowers that make it you know like twenty four, but like there's nothing in the deck that I have that I want a Johnny over. I just want we're just like low to the ground and everything and just you know it's really low and all of our cards are threats on their own i don't know i like it yeah like we we have eight anthem effects between well, i guess kind of like 12 we have the benelish marshals the venerate luxodons those are all anthem effects it's just like how many anthem effects do you want to play before and I like both of those cards more than than a Johnny. So it's like how you know, like we can't really fit tons of those kind of things in. And then we also have the flourishes that can be anthem. Anthony. Yeah, yeah, I don't I don't know why I, I yeah, I don't know why my opponent played the Steamkin there instead of the, the Pyromancers that were whenever they had nothing but lands in hand. That didn't make a ton of sense. All right, seeing if we draw any of our eight anthems. Benelish Marshall. Ugh. And Venerate Luxodon, those would be our best draw steps. Hmm. The Risen Reef deck doesn't have Risen Reef immediately. Interesting. Or it's not a Risen Reef deck. If our if if our opponent did have like a Risen Reef that last turn, I probably was just gonna go Sapperly Migration, Dauntless Bodyguard, tap the floor for Conflict Tribunal. Spell Pierce or Shock? I 
I guess I should try to play around Spell Pierce. Hey, TRC. Put thoughtfulness before action. Hey, Joe Bags. Good afternoon. Yeah, we were playing against Teamer Nexus. Yeah, it's, I guess they don't necessarily have to have Nexus. It's a Reclamation deck. I guess they could just be going with, you know, uh, Expansion Explosion, Niv-Mizzet, that kind of stuff. But probably Nexus. Because ever since War of the Spark with these Planeswalkers, Niv-Mizzet, it's not really where you want to be. Yeah, no, no elephants or Benelish marshals make our deck a lot slower. That that history getting countered last time. Why, how did, is it Phoenix get obliterated so hard with M20? The past, present, keep an open mind. I'm not sure, honestly. I don't really have a, a great answer for you there. I don't know. There were, of course, a lot of, there are just a lot of cards in M20 that are graveyard hate. I'm not sure if, if that's specifically what did it. You know, cards like Craft Digger's Cage, Leyline of the Void. Are a couple that came to mind immediately. We tapped an extra creature that was not summoning six so that we could make another creature here. Still have much to learn. With the first fort. They're in, sorry, they're gonna need something pretty good here. We're in a pretty decent spot. We're in a 
pretty good spot here. One off, lethal. So we draw Benelish Marshal. Or Flourish. Nope. I guess if I just would have attacked the Narset for two instead of Narset for three, we would have had lethal there. Yeah, we may lose, kitty. No, we don't lose. Yay. All right, demystifies and bindings. Maybe bodyguard out. Mm. Cut a couple of woodland champions. Woodland champion can grow quite a bit, but they're playing, you know, shock strike. It's a two mana card that trades with shock immediately. I don't love it. I think Gideon may be a little slow here. Could be wrong there, though. That is true. If they're just going to be playing... I didn't think about a bunch of flame sweeps. Cannonades. Yeah, that is true. Okay, maybe I should have had Gideon. And Gideon, with the minus six being able to exile... Reclamation is pretty nice, too. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I should be playing some... Gidgeons. Oh, well. Yeah, we can definitely expect... Uh, flame sweep and cannonade, yeah. I think those are probably four, honestly. They probably have four of those, at least. Yeah, the you did you did it correct with the exclamation point song. The song command just takes a little while to come up. It takes like, you know, fifteen seconds or so. So you just gotta wait. Esper Flyers went really, really well. We played against a lot of uh, creature decks, a lot of like aggro decks kind of thing, and we were just able to stabilize and go over the top with the combination of Lyra, Resplendent Angel. Sweet. I know eighty eight ways to depone your prowess. Attack. I won't forget our time together. Yeah, this deck doesn't have like the like just a ton of minus uh, targets for a Johnny adversary tyrants. Like there's only just Dauntless Bodyguard and the green creature, whatever that thing's called.
Just trying to go with the faster clock. Uh, this is probably getting countered. Just not going with any four mana cards. You know, like Conclave Tribe. I mean, we have two Ixalan's Bindings in the sideboard, I guess, for four mana cards. But Conclave Tribunal doesn't really count with our Convoke stuff. Roll and roll, real low curve. There's the flame sweep. We're just not playing any any of the kind of nonsense. There's there are a lot of good options as we talked about both both the Johnnies and Unbreakable Formation Tristani. Bunch of good options like that. But we're not playing any. Just trying to consistently have good turns one through four every single game, and not just sitting with like lands and Unbreakable Formation that we can't cast and things like that. I would love to be able to flip this Legion's Landing. Let's see what you got. Ah, they're Ralph comboing. When the storm yeah, this is 20% of our lands already. already. Or 25% of our lands, sorry, a fourth of our lands. Uh, let's see. Can I play Benelish Marshall and... Play Conclave Tribunal. We'd have. Yes, we can. Don't worry, I won't rain on your parade. Boom. Reno. I don't know. We're playing against decks that have sweepers, and we still just kill them because we just have more threats. It's really hard to have Unbreakable Formation actually line up against sweepers, to be honest. Yeah, I think they had. Yeah, I think they had. They they were trying the expansion combo. There. Turn one land or off is tough to beat. We'll see what they got going on over here. Yeah, that's that's a really good start. That's gonna be tough to beat. So I'm just playing history next turn. Just hoping they don't have more elementals. 
Good. Alright, so we need to Tribunal, Nyssa, three, four, five. I guess if I Tribunal, I don't get to... I can't Tribunal and uh, Luxidon, I suppose. Because, yeah, Luxodon would take up, like, five. Yeah, no, I, I can't quite Luxodon and Tribunal. I'm going to do one or the other. Yeah, yeah, Teamer Elementals is a is a safe deck to craft for your first competitive deck. It's a good one. Yeah, Elusa's right. Yeah, it, it is a deck that's going to change. Like, the, the list that the people... Like, whatever list people are, like... Whatever popular list, I should say that, the people are playing right now is not going to be the same popular list this... Like, you know, like, uh, a week from now, or then it'll, that'll change for two weeks from now kind of thing. It's it's the kind of deck that has... has way too many good cards to play compared to slots to play them many more than 75 good cards and so it's the kind of deck that will change and adapt why do we keep drawing these lands any spell would have been good to play here where I could just play any spell with the venerate luxodon That's bold. And that's why. Wait, so they just played Nexus and then played Temple? Or like they played Temple first and Scry to the top and then played Nexus? lethal. I can't stop that attack now. I don't want anything in the sideboard. Gonna keep it like this. <clears throat> At 
we had a okay but not that great hand of starting with the the two drop into history banalia you know like that was it's okay it's okay but then after that we really didn't draw anything else like the whole game All right, same kind of start, but we got the migration. Migration definitely helps. Helps like, you know, cast Conclave Tribunal, helps the champion hit harder. And you know, our opponent was on the play with turn one land world, turn two Risen Reef. That's also tough to, to beat. Looks like they mulliganed a lot. Not sure how many times. <clears throat> I haven't, like, we haven't really played Woodland Champion too much, to be honest. I like the idea of the card. I like, I like the card in the deck, but whether or not I'm, ha I've been happy with it, we just haven't had it very much. To say. Yeah, I, I do think it's better than Shauna. Oh, turn two Risen Reef again. Pretty good. I think I'm going to Tribunal <clears throat> the Elf. Keep them from having five mana next turn. Wow, they didn't even have a single land in hand. <clears throat> All right, on the draw now. Now do I want Baffling End for Risen Reef? Nah. <clears throat> So we lost on the play. Or sorry, we lost on the draw. We won on the play. Let's see how we do here. But yeah, Woodland, Cham Woodland Champion looked pretty impressive there. You know, just attacked for eight on that turn four. Killed him pretty quickly. save bodyguard to be able to protect Marshall. Mm. 
Guess I have to Woodland Champion. Yeah. All right, then we'll start attacking next turn. Get some marshals. Let's see what happens. Ugh, Cavalier Thorns, not the card we wanted to see. That was not the card we wanted to see at all. Just double ramped them too. So they get to kill the elephant. They have to block with Risen Reef though, because that's still that's still lethal, so they do have to jump there. So we'll see if they get if they go crazy with <clears throat> nexuses. Hopefully not. We know they have one nexus in their deck somewhere. Through this land, we are all connected. Mm. Please, no Nexus. As long as it's not Nexus. The land fights for us. No Nexus. Boo. Is this worth a trade? Uh, probably not. They'd grab Tamio, and they'd have Tamio. All right, they just got the two cards. They just have the two cards. I mean, this was our turn four. Our hand was really good, but I mean, so is theirs. I mean, they're, I mean, if they just win the game on their turn five, I mean, like, what are we supposed to do about it? So this was our turn four. Because the, the Gross Pile ramped them, and then the Risen Reef ramped them, and then they went Cavalier that double ramped them. That's four blockers. That's not enough blockers. That's five blockers. That's not enough blockers. Just 
receive it on board. That's not enough blockers. It's definitely not with this, though. All right, we got there. Ooh, heart was beating there. Thought maybe we we're gonna be losing that one. And we are four and O oh with Selesnia tokens. This deck's pretty sweet. This deck's pretty sweet. All right, y'all know what time it is. We're four and O. Oh. Final boss time. Time to fight a little further. Let's go. I like this deck, just no nonsense. Just getting it done. Yeah, I'm not getting I'm not gonna get the Final Fantasy VII remake because I don't have like I have one system and it's the the Nintendo one. Um the Switch. I have a Switch. And so there's not a Final Fantasy VII remake on the Switch, and so I'm all sad. So I won't be getting it. We already kept a hand with 20% of our lands. Now we just drew another land. That's 25% of our lands. We're only playing 20, so every land is 5%. Alright, so mono blue. They getting tricky. This art's really cool, though. Getting the kitty cat in there, too. Uh, well, it's covered up by the text, but that's a really cool art. Ah, the blue-green deck. What would I rather have countered? But I, I'd rather have Legion's Landing get countered. I don't know, flipping Legion's Landing would be really, really clutch. I think I'd rather have this countered. With having this Wilden Champion out and everything, flipping Legion's Landing would be really clutch. That was a great turn for them.
Honestly, I thought they'd be out of counters. Like three cards in hand. Not having the four mana for Frilled Mystic. I wasn't really expecting a counter spell there. I was at least hoping. Stop drawing lands, deck. I can't really just sit back and do nothing because of Spectral Sailor. I don't understand your question, Matthew. No finale payoff for lands. Finale of Glory? No. Oh, no. No. Sorry. Yeah, I was trying to think of what, what that was. Sorry. Yeah, no. No Finale of Glory. This is like a good chunk of our lands right here. That we've drawn so far. I only have 20 in the deck, so this is six of them. It's almost a third of our lands. Man, I want to flip Legion's Landing real bad. Yeah, we should flip Legion's Landing. Throw that away. I don't think we're winning this. And these cards, these two cards have just been just so impressive. Seeing these two, Brineborn, Cutthroat, Nightpack, Ambusher, they play, they play so well. I was not expecting those two cards to be as good as they have been. Especially this, this Cutthroat. I don't think I don't think that Ceratops shuts down our opponent's deck. They can just block it with an ambusher. 
or have two wolves in play or whatever. I don't think it shuts down their deck. to draw some of our removal spells at the Conclave Tribunals. No, we don't we don't have anything that costs more than three mana in, in the deck. Besides convoke stuff. Like nothing like just convoke an elephant are the only things that cost more than three. It's a very low to the ground deck. It's just a twenty land deck. We just have, you know, six of our 14 cards being lands is not ideal at all. We're a very low to the ground deck. I don't, I don't have anything to like go over the top here. I mean, besides like this, this woodland champion just gonna continually grow, I suppose. Yeah, it was just kind of bad luck, Ronked. Uh, both losses with the Mono Black midrange were to two Risen Reef decks that had really, really strong hands a lot. Like, we just kept on facing Risen Reef after Risen Reef. You know, like, they always had two or three Risen Reefs and just outgrinded us. But yeah, no, I was really excited about playing the Mono Black deck. Hey, they finally drew another land. I want them to draw a lot of lands. I mean, I get a 1-1, one, one, they get a 3-3 three, three every turn. I get a 1-1 one, one and two counters on two creatures. Basically, baffling ends just for the the cutthroats. I'm not gonna play them. Hmm. I got a flower again.
Yeah, don't don't really like my chances here. Yeah, Harpooner is great against the the pirate, but that's kind of about it. It's very good against the pirate. I feel like they may have some anti. Bleh. This is a very bleh hand. I feel like they may have some anti. Um, green cards, maybe. Maybe not though. So they probably have bounce stuff. Like getting a lot of counters on this is probably not going to be as possible. I guess we'll try to. I'm going to tuck the history banalia, kind of uh, trying to blank. You know, like negates and spell pierces and stuff like that. The picture on Baffling End is a is a dinosaur. I think it's a dinosaur chomping something up. Nothing was missing with mono black. This is a good deck. there. Turns out didn't really need negates. They had us covered. Rude. Of course, resolving spells right now while they're tapped out. Don't need to like worry about raising the alarm being an instant. And we just activate our Danto the first fort. So I'm guessing they have another cutthroat. Ah, trickster. Down to one. I'm not sure if I'm actually supposed to cast the raise the alarm. We can just activate the Adanto and not have to worry about a counter spell. I think I just do that.
If they would tap out, then I could play the raise the alarm. Really rude. So we do have lethal right now. Do they have Cutthroat or Trickster? If our opponent had a, a creature, we didn't have lethal. Because the life, yeah, the, their lifelink creature. So, yes, if our opponent did have a creature there, we did not have lethal. Try Gideon's here. Gideon's can't be stolen. I feel like they're difficult to block and everything. Let's see if we actually get to play them. So 
I'm guessing they have the 1-1 one, one pirate. All right, we'll take the trade. No lands over there. Interesting. Then let's not play into counter magic. Let's just play. Oh gosh, why do we have all the convoke stuff? Ah, uh, they drew a creature. They don't have spell pierce. Flippin' Legion's landing. Oh, that card's been great. Oh, there's a pay button, so I don't for the convoke stuff, so I don't have to tap every creature now. I guess I wasn't really looking way down here. Didn't notice that. No, you can't. No, if Conclave Tribunal gets spell, spell Pierce, you cannot pay two creatures to pay the two. Um, the spell Pierce requires you to pay two mana. It's not the Conclave Tribunal requiring you to pay the two mana. So don't get to use that.
Uh, not Hawkeye Dinner Time yet. That's around. That's like basically whenever I get done streaming normally. So in like three hours. Three and a half hours. I was definitely hoping that that got countered, of course, because the Venerate Luxodon. Yay. We'll take that. Boom. Blow them up. Convoke spells, very strong. That was like one of our first times to beat the blue green flash deck. Cavalier Thorns! We got a mythic. Why don't these like show up like, you know, being red and, and orange and stuff like that? Like, why don't they have the, the cool outline anymore? I missed that outline. Awesome, I needed a fourth Cavalier Thorns. That's the fourth one. Need one of those. Alright, so Selesnya tokens felt really good. Let's get that 5-0. That was a 5-0 that was beating, you know, strong decks, you know, like the last two rounds, you know, we beat Team Elementals, beat uh Simic Flash. Honestly, and with basically not a sideboard. You know, we really didn't do very much at all with the sideboard. Um, I mean, the De Demystify was definitely good against the Wilderness Reclamation opponent. Um, yeah, I'm sad they removed those outlines. I'm sad they did. Um, but yeah, like, our deck was pretty good. Um, we have all these Harpooners in here because Mono Blue can be kind of tough with their flyers and everything. Um, but, of course, the more popular Simic Flash gets, then the more that we should be uh, shifting towards the Ceratops instead of all the Harpooners. Gideon is nice against Control, but isn't... Maybe Gideon's not necessary. Maybe not four Baffling End necessary, honestly, also. The main reason why we have four Baffling End, though, is is mostly for, like, Feather. That's That's a matchup where we really want all those removal spells. Um, but yeah, basically, you know, demystify for next for wilderness reclamation, baffling end for feather, harpooner for mono blue. Those are options to trim down on if you want some shifting ceratops for the flash deck. Um, I think Wilden Champion is miles better than Iron Root Warlord. I think costing two mana instead of three is just such a big deal. I was I was definitely happy with the Woodland Champions, though. I liked them. Um, yeah. Pretty sweet little deck here. All right. Uh, Selesnya Tokens. Very, very impressive, I'd have to say. Just no nonsense. None of, you know, basically the only things that cost three are the, the Benelish Marshals and the Histories. Because, like, these two, you know, Benelish Marshall and History are just way too powerful. Uh, so that's why they're the only cards that cost three. But, you know, these are just our Convoke spells and just a whole bunch of ones and twos. Uh, it did seem that e even, like, if we want to fit something else, it did seem like that maybe we had one too many land plus flower. Like, maybe, you know, like, I sideboard out one flower a lot. But also, uh, games, 
after sideboarding usually go longer anyway. So like cutting down on flower after sideboarding because uh, like they have more interaction and so usually the games are longer. So you're more likely to draw more lands. Um, but there we go. That's uh, get this start over here. That's uh, Selesnia Tokens. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, I um, hope you enjoyed it. And please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Um, but that's it here for Selesnia Tokens. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.